Hi there, my name is Sergey Shelkov and today I'll tell you everything you need to know about conversion tracking in Epon's wide label DSP. In order to do that, you would have to go to the creative level, edit it, I'll create a new one, then scroll a bit down and take a look at these pause back URLs. What they do is they allow a third party platform, most usually an attribution platform, to post back to EPOM the fact that the conversion has happened. So what you do is you take this and integrate it to any of the attribution platforms you're working with, like Adjust, or Appsly, or Kachava, or any other ones. So what will happen then is whenever an attribution platform receives a conversion, it will call this post back to EPOM, substituting this transaction ID parameter, the event type, and the price perhaps, with the values that they want to pass back to you. EPOM in that case would have this uh, conversion attributed correctly to the banners and campaigns present in EPOM system. But if you want to make fully native integration, what you would have to do with that attribution platform is ask them to integrate EPOM as, the, as your uh, provider of traffic, as your white label DSP platform, and then go through the process of filling in their questionnaire uh, which would probably consist of a lot of macros that Attribution Platform has on their side, and you would have to map those macros to the macros available in EPOM. That would allow you to use Attribution's platform landing page in your target URL when creating a, a banner, adding a banner. So in this case, the Attribution Platform would receive all the information it needs to correctly track everything, and then that Attribution Platform call this possible URL whenever a conversion happens so that EPOM will understand what's happening, where it's coming from, and attribute it correctly. You can also see here that we have a click POSBIC URL. This is very rarely used. Um, it's better to use this if uh, the publisher or rather the advertiser wants to decrease the amount of redirects that happen because usually whenever a user clicks on an ad, uh, they would be redirected to EPOM's internal click counter and then redirected to landing page or maybe an attribution platform in the middle. So this would get rid of EPOM's internal redirect and would reside on the attribution platform to post back to us whenever a click happened, not only a conversion, but also a click on top of that. There's also one thing I wanted to show on the campaign level, an optimization over here, you can see the attribution and tracking pixel links. What happens here is that, think of this, I don't know if a piggyback is the correct word for this, but rather it's better to use pause back and things. Um, it's better to use pause back, I think. So whatever is placed in the suppression click or conversion layer here would be called by EPOM whenever such thing happens. So either a pressure click or a conversion. So this is mostly used to pass this information about the compression click or conversion back to an external tracker. This could be a third party ad server. This could be an additional attribution platform. So whenever we count an impression, we would call whatever is here using server to server connection uh, to report to a third party solution. Same goes for clicks and conversions. Whenever we receive information, remember that I was showing you just now the pause back uh, from an attribution platform on the creative level. So whenever we receive information that the conversion happened, we would call whatever is here to call a third party solution to tell them that, yeah, we did have a conversion with a bunch of macros or whatever could be fitting here. And the difference between attribution links and tracking pixels is that attribution links work in server to server. So our server, calls a third party ad server, for example, whereas in tracking pixel, whatever you insert over here would just be added to the markup. So this is based on the client side and not on the server side. So uh, of course, all this information about the conversions and about all the information uh, and about all the types of events and the prices would be then found in the analytics. So you would have full exposure and of course, uh, all the algorithms that we have that work on conversions really need this integration between you and the attribution platform to take place. But if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me or any of our sales team, and we're going to help you. So let me know if you need anything from my side. So let me know if everything was great. So let me know uh, if this helped. And if not, just feel free to reach out to us. We're going to be happy to help you.
Thank you and take care. Thank you.